Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox, that's Ben Olson. We're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Rachel. Hi guys, I'm applying to law school at an older age. Older is in quotes. Scare quotes, yeah. Yeah. It's been 15-ish years since I spoke to a professor from my undergraduate degree. I'm the owner of a small business and I haven't had a boss or manager for over 10 years. Anyone I work with reports to me and the majority of my hires don't have exactly law school recommendation credentials. Any fellow entrepreneurs I know in my industry have also been my competitors and have not seen the inner workings of how I run my business. I have a a few vague ideas on who I should be approaching for a letter of recommendation, but I'm hoping you can flesh out a few defining features of who I should be looking for that is not a professor or employer to aid me in my search. I suspect it will be someone who is not accustomed to writing letters of recommendation and would appreciate a little extra time to prepare prepare themselves for it. Thanks kindly, Rachel. You know, um, first of all, Rachel, if you run a small business, (laughs) I would encourage you to continue doing that rather than going to law school. (laughs) I absolutely love that way more than my law school experience. But you said you don't have a boss. I guess when I think of people who run small businesses and quote, don't have bosses. Yeah, that's true. They don't have the formal boss, but your boss is your client. Absolutely. You have many bosses Yeah, and you have so many people that you can ask for letters of recommendation. If you're the owner of a small business and it's been going for a while, you say over 10 years, I haven't had a boss or a manager. Well, you have had clients for those 10 years, you have had customers and you can absolutely have your customers write you letters of recommendation here because those are the people who boss you with their dollars. I mean, they either keep coming to your business or they don't keep coming to your business. So the people who, you know, you've done a fabulous job for your favorite clients, those are the people that you should be hitting up here. And I think you'll end up with wonderful letters from people who, you know, they chose to continue to pay you for your services. They've seen exactly what you're capable of achieving. And they voted with their dollars on you. So, yeah, I think you could ask five different clients potentially and see which ones respond the most enthusiastically. And you're going to end up with great letters. Yep. Is that it? (laughs) Simple as that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would be going anywhere else really to ask. I don't, I don't think your competitors, I don't, I don't know. 15 years is, is a long time to try to go back to your undergraduate professors. I probably would just skip that. I don't see any problem with an application like this, having two or three, uh, just client letters of recommendation. All right. Uh, cool. thank you, Rachel email daily at lsatdemon.com. If you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news, thanks for listening. 